know this thing of oh be a man yeah are we saying that men's trauma or men's um, what doesn't they matter through their experience are they invalidated don't they matter the society has make us feel like once you complain as a guy that means you are weak so most people are saying be a man when you say be a man you see them do not put their shoulder up <laughs> yeah i'm the man i'm the man of the house <laughs> I beg, see, don't kill yourself with being the man. Sometimes, they always say something. It's not every time you should be a man, sometimes you should be a human being. Mm. A human being too need care. So a lot of times, you take a lot of things. Oh, you spoil people out, you take care of them, you go out. Or sometimes, you take care of yourself. yourself. See, think of, they say, you can't love someone more than you love yourself. But most men nowadays, they are giving out more than themselves. Oh, this person should not feel, this person should not feel. Now, I have a question I always ask. If you're not this, people still find a way. Sure. Welcome to my channel, it's your girl Precious Oyelike. Today we are back with another amazing conversation when it's called, but this time around we're going to be talking about the male mental health. And I'm sure that you are not surprised and for anyone who's just seen him for the first time too, this is my friend and we are going to be having a conversation about the male mental health. Before we drive into that conversation, it's going to do well to introduce himself and from there we we'll dig deep. Yeah, so um, Emmanuel by name. And I'm the guest for today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the guest for today. I, I through, the, through the previous video, my friends were saying that, oh, that guy, yes, sense, yes, sense. Like, they enjoyed the conversation. That's wow. the meeting. So, thank you, I'm back. Thank you for the opportunity once again. Yes, yeah, so I'm so I'm glad to more. have him back. Ah, more, more, more in the future. Amen. Because for him to come and join in this recording, you have to book him in, in advance. You will tell him the topic in advance. Mm -hmm. You will book him in advance because mm -hmm. he's a busy man. One day soon, so what's be busy like him too? But to them, Your Majesty. Wow, the Queen have invited me <laughs> here again. So today we're talking about men. the male mental health, mm -hmm. men's mental health, and um, the reason why I brought a guy to like address this topic is that even I'm going to talk about it from the female's perspective, it will still give the entire. Um, Entire, we don't give a better scope of this topic. That is why I'm bringing a man to this to the table. This time around, we're having a single man. Next time, it's someone that is married, so that we get the balanced perspective. So, till he's married, we'll be someone that is married. When he's married, we'll come and ask him this question again. So, I want to ask you about um, how do you deal with anxiety? I mean, like, there's so many expectations for you as a boy child, even yeah, if you're not even yeah, the firstborn. Yeah. They have some responsibilities on you. That's why you come about and you're a man, you're a boy. Yeah. There's just a certain responsibility on you. Responsibility for yourself, responsibility for your family. I mean, your own new family that you're going to have in the future. Responsibility for your current like nuclear family before you have another nuclear family. Responsibility for the society. So how do you manage this anxiety? I mean, having to deal with the responsibility that comes from all these angles. Or you can decide to just address one of these angles too. Either you're for yourself, for your family, and for the society. Uh, as a male child, a lot of things hang on our shoulders. So, <laughs> you're even speechless. I, 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 I'm speechless <laughs> at this moment. Oh my God, but I think if, this is about to be an interesting no. conversation. If, if I look at what, what is expected of a guy, as a lady child, you are loved because you are a lady child. You are cared for. But as a man child, you have to prove that you should be loved. You have to prove that you should be cared for. You have to prove that you are every woman being sometimes. What you just said is triggering some question in my head. You are saying that as a boy child, as a girl child, you are loved. Yes, normal. Most girls are loved than the boy child. Yeah. But can we also say this too? You know that there's also child preference. Okay. Where some Your family parents, prefer yeah. the boy child, boy child to yes, the girl child. Yes. So if you want to say this statement, you have to like strike the balance between the two. Because if you are saying that, and this and this um this narrative of um the boy child being loved, the boy child being cared for, it was it put on the boy child by himself or by the society, or who informed this narrative, so to say. Right now, I don't know who informed the narrative. I just know that we just met it. Society accepted it, and some family does not. Some people does not. So right now, we just it's just something. We can I can't say the origin of it because I've not been alive for too long. So, but right now, what I'll just say is that as a male child, you have to prove that you are worth it first. If I go out with you now, 
I'll go to someone and say, please, I need your help. They will quickly render you help than me. First you say, you're a guy. Go all zoo. But you say, oh, she's a baby girl. That's the first thing they will say. So why? Because everybody just have in drama. Even as a lady, even if you're talking to a fellow lady, if you want to help the lady child than the male child. So it now gave us, it meant that as a man, they will say, you are be a man. And when you say be a man, you know are what it means? Are you that stupid? <laughs> oh, it means be take it all in. Take it all in. You have to accept everything that comes. That's why I think up to now, there are more widows than widowers. Because the men goes on time. That is a conversation for another day. Because I know that is, that is, that, that's very true. And I know that most of these men either die through, due to high blood pressure, having to cater for their family, having to cater, a lot of their own nuclear family, having to cater for extended family. family. Imagine all their children would have finished from university or they don't have any children in university. But because they are a male child, they are still catering to one of their auntie, one of their younger Uncle sisters. Or one, there's someone, someone that is like demanding from them. So how do you, this, how do you deal with the anxiety of you know, someday, by the grace of God, I'm going to become a father? Are you, how are you dealing with that um, anxiety for the future when it comes to family regard, when it comes to your career? But let's first start from family. How do you deal with that anxiety? Like, I'm also going to become a father in the nearest future. How are you dealing with the anxiety? Because you're going to have a male child. Are you planning to raise your male child with this same anxiety or with this same fear of the future? Ah, right, uh, I'll just see. <laughs> They say when, when you get to the bridge, you know how to cross. But I always say sometimes, okay, at least prepare to make our bridge you are going to. The first thing to say is just how will I be able to have a normal life as a guy without having too much anxiety? Anxiety will come, but the main thing is that how can you balance it off? I think that's the first thing. How can you balance everything off? So, me as a male child as I am, right now, I don't overthink. That's the first thing I do with anxiety. Because no matter how I overthink, it's, most times it does not solve a situation. It just, but sometimes I can give you a good solution when you think a lot. But when you are thinking of something that you already know that this, there's no solution, you say, let the dead dog lie. So why don't you allow it lie? Instead of you thinking about why did he die? But as a major child for family expectation, family expects you to, oh, so I'm a second born. So normally I don't have a lot of anxiety <laughs> because I have my first born. They say, oh, you're the first born. That's good. I have the last born. You're the last born. I have the only girl. They say, oh, you're the only girl. But me, I'm just kind of in the middle. Nobody too much cares about a lot of things. But I have my anxiety that, I don't know since they notice me a lot until once they say that, if a man says this, he's going to do this. So that means my own decisions affect other people. So I have anxiety of, oh, they are watching me silently because they know that nobody disturbs me. So any choice I make, I always try to deal with it. So for my family, I have to try and look out for how can I be the best version? How can I be able to take some things in? Because if you should show as a guy, you're able to take some things in. They call it big hit. <laughs> While you're taking it in, try and think of your own self. Can you be able to carry all these things alone? That's why I think it's good to have someone you can talk with every sure. time. I have people I talk with too. Like if I talk with them, I feel like, ah, at last I'm free. I always advise guys, ladies, no matter where you are, just have something you can confide in. Men, please share your body. It's not only you. But is it everywhere you can share the body? Yeah, but like carefully select the people you can share your body with because men keep it in. They keep keeping everything in. There was a particular day I was in MOP, a place for outpatients in the hospital, and one man walked in just for normal. He came for um, to see the cardiologist, like the okay. art doctor. And by the time the woman, the woman saw him, mother said, you're not leaving here today. We wow. have to hospitalize you immediately. So now, if the man was on that, maybe the woman saw the blood and they're like, no, this can't. Yes. Check this heart piece. And I was like, nah, you, you can't you go. Can. <laughs> because she was like, if he should stress himself more than this, he's going he's to pack up. Wow. So that's why we, we keep having increasing widows. Because you people don't share your body. It's even leading me to a question that okay. I want to ask, which is, um, you know, this threat of, oh, be a man. Yeah. Are we saying that men's trauma or men's, um, what they've been matter. through their experience, are they invalidated? Don't they matter? The society has made us feel like once you complain as a guy, that means you are weak. So most people are saying, be a man. 
when you say be a man, you see them do not put their shoulder up. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm the man of the house. I beg, see, don't kill yourself with being the man. Sometimes, they always say something. It's not every time you should be a man, sometimes you should be a human being. Mm. A human being too need care. So a lot of times, you take a lot of things. Oh, you spoil people out. You take care of them, you go out. Or sometimes, you take care of yourself. yourself. See, think of, they say, you can't love someone more than you love yourself. But most men nowadays, they are giving out more than themselves. Oh, this person should not feel, this person should not feel. I have a question I always ask. If you know this, people will still find a way. Sure. The men that have gone, even though your family, the heat is rough past when you're not there. Oh, so you're in heaven or down in the earth, anyway, you are, I don't know. <laughs> but one thing I always tell you is that those people that you left here, that you are suffering for, they, they still survive. On. Sure. So, still try your best to do everything. But when you know you're passing your capacity, and that thing is age. As a young age, there's something about, they call it um, elastic limit. As, in, as young guys like this, we can easily do some things. I say we go just lie down for bed, we don't do okay. But when you're passing some age, maybe 40, 50, even after taking panado and everything, you still be feeling the pain. Yes, so. So it's, as a man, they will say, use your early time to plan. So please try and plan how to even take care of yourself. I think that's the main thing about any mental health. Hard. I want to say with mental health is that it does not have a medicine. Medicine only suppresses it, it does not cure it. So I think one of the best solutions is to talk. But yeah. the issue is that who are you going to talk to as a guy? Eh. <laughs> no, man, we have trust issues. Let eh, but you. there are some therapists you can't really pay for. You say pay therapy, therapy sweet. We are, talking, we are talking about lame men. I have not been to a therapist office in my life of a year like this. <laughs> but like, Maybe I, I feel like when, when you get to a certain age, yeah. and as in, if a man, like you're a man, and yeah. I feel like if you're financially capable, you should go and seek therapy. But why will you go to a therapy when you're supposed to have it at home? At least, eh, therapists will help you. You know that like your therapy will not go and tell someone else. You are very sure of that because that is like, um, it's not yeah, ethical yeah. For, you, like, for their profession. But if you cannot afford a therapist, at least, you, every, I feel everybody has that one friend or everybody has that like one family member that you can share your body with. Your body that is. even if the person is the guest in the nearest future, just not, you shall share your own and, and you are so. better. Like, that's the main thing. But, um... Leading to another question, I saw a post on social media in the course of this week that I'm recording this video, mm. and that post see, let's made let's me see. think. And the, the person made it was a tweet, and the person said, "Why do men feel the need to go through things alone?" The answer is because we don't think we have anybody to share this with. So I can be well, bothered. Well, okay, if single guys are saying this, yes, what should married men say? Because I, I know married men also married make men. the same statements too. Married men, at least they have. A wife that you know, okay, we are going through to the end. I say, okay, wait, 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 we can't be, we can't be rough part, but she will give me something about her I can hold on to. That I, let me say, I can just attack her too. So I can just give her something I can use. So I know at least I'm secured. We can still go 50 50 or 70 40 or anyhow. But as a single guy, I can talk to a friend right now that I think is a friend. And then this, this is, it's even go beyond talking. It mm -hmm. comes to like, maybe they are facing a particular challenge. Maybe, for example, maybe the guy is maybe um, trying to pay school fees yeah. and the person cannot pay the entire pay school the entire fees. School so they will prefer to drop out of school than to share the body with someone. And I, I know a particular, uh, my friend was talking about a particular family where the husband could not pay the school fees of the child and he tried her to drop out of from school. And people were hearing about it later. They're like, mm. if the man had just spoken, they would have, they know someone in the school that they would have spoken to and everything. That even if you that artist, there should, there should have been one person. But the child lost the academic year because the father was like, no, be a man. That's because of pride, ego. Because the child had everybody to like see. waste one academic yes. section Every, because of this. Everybody, everybody have pride. As yes, a guy. I know. So, see, there's pride Why in asking people for go help. Why do things alone? That's Why? No matter, we, we have pride for help. Like, it's not easy for a guy to ask and ask a person, hey, you know that. Because if you go and ask them, most of them will have in their mind, I'm solving my own issue, I'd not tell you. That's why you come to meet me. This is not except, to that question. Except, <laughs> except the person you are going to go and meet is someone that can, that have already passed that barrier of, everybody can be of help. But if you are going to someone that have the mentality of, you should be a man, you, feel, you regret ever sharing your body. Because they will not give you advice, they will give you <laughs> questions. <laughs> So, you have, why your child is dropping out of school? Can't you can house more? That means your house is not the pay. Eh, 
this is not leading to other questions. Okay. Yes. If we are saying all this, because I'm not attacking him, I want to just understand why why men are not like what's up? Why people not sharing things? This is another question, which is so don't guys are friends. Because people are always saying that, oh, guys' relationship, I mean, boys' oh, yeah. relationship are better than, are better than ladies, female friendship. Female like, friendship. male friendship is better. So, if people are saying that you go through things alone, you're not willing to share with someone, then why? What well, all this bro code, all this... Yeah, the, your, your, the your, just... your siblings, your male siblings, you cannot tell your female siblings, at least your male siblings should be able to have conversation about it with them. Your male friends... So why, why are we not saying that? Because okay, no, outside, see, most, most girls will say, I don't like having friends with girls because they don't understand me. But she have friends with guys. Guy, guys yeah, are better. Yeah, it's better. a problem. But you people don't. You people still go to things alone. You people don't talk. And that's because of, see, now you just give us, you're looking at the whole meal. When I look at it as, I'm a guy. There are things I can share with the fellow guy that I'll be comfortable with. And there are some people I can share deep things with as a guy. With. But one, one thing that makes us to restrict ourselves in sharing things are, you know, they always say, experience makes people better or worse. So, someone like me, I have an experience of when I was in GSS, I cannot forget. Someone I trusted. GSS. I was, wait, I, was, I was a bad boy. They gave me a yellow card. So, I went to go and give this guy, I come from home with for the past two years, every day. My mom go represent his man as PTA meeting. So, I said, I don't trust him. Just saw me saying, I'm down. So what happened? I said, they gave me a look at And they didn't announce it to anybody. Because just they couldn't look at And then I gave it to him. And what he did to me, he took it to I went to the class and I was showing everybody. Since then, I could not be able to trust any guy or anybody close to me like that to some kind of things. Because of, that's the trauma GSS of GSS. GSS, GSS. GSS theory. Imagine, imagine, imagine kind of wicked but I call friends, break, friends break our hearts. I mm -hmm. we still make friends. Still make friends. Like about what you say. I didn't, um, but as we make friends, as we make friends, we're not, we're not more careful of what to share. I understand. Then the people I think most make and uh, can share things are uh, to family members, people that you know. Oh, I don't date for a long time. But really, mm. you, you, you I, I, I'm still not understanding all these things that you're saying. No. Okay. I'm trying to understand. Yes, I'm trying to understand the me mental health. Because if we can we cannot address you guys' mental health without addressing why you guys keep things to yourself. Some guys we keep things to the extent that <laughs> like I, I remember I remember a friend of mine that her dad had issue um had health issues and father did not see anything yeah, of when the auntie. issue got worse. That's because so, they think if they share it that no, I think if we share some things with some people, we feel like we're putting a body on them. Why can't you carry the body alone? You see your body. See, the same thing you are saying, my dad too did the same things. He hide the fact he was sick for a why. Like when I went to his place that when I saw the scans and everything he did, he knows he knows he was sick for like a year and he's not anybody. But he was just pretending to come smile. Until when at the office after the season and called that something's wrong. Okay, um so are you now we have addressed these issues now. Okay. So now projecting towards the future. Mm. Are you feeling I do you think that this is the best way to raise the new the new sets like your own children, unborn children, the new generation? No, this is the no, best way to no. raise them to always suck things in and no, no, no. keep See, things to themselves. The new generation, I even though they're not be able to take a lot of things. They will. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because most of them even are getting with the social nice, media nice, self, media. yes. I just want to they rant out. So that ranting out is a little bit good. But it's not everything you should rant out on social media, that's what I'll say. But you should to rant out to qualified people, people you can trust. And now, we, we said something last time. To trust someone, you have to test them. Yeah. I can't, I can test you on something later. This thing, this thing that you just made, I'm yeah. going to keep, I will tell I'm you my reaction after. <laughs> <laughs> See, why I say that is that, they say you just trust blindly. Yeah, you trust blindly. But most people don't, see, before I can, I can give you a part of, of a story, part A. And since there was no spill, I can't give you part B. I can't give you part C. I can't give you maybe Z one day. Because now, I don't care if A, B, C spill out. But what was concerning me, all this why is the Z I'm trying to. So I can be talking to you little by little. I'm trying to get confidence in you as a guy. Oh, yeah, so you want being. So now, me, the kind of person I'm going to train myself, and I'm old doing. See, I'm a guy, they cry. And you tell people, see, if I have something bodying me up, I'm, they will say, be a man, don't. Say, I'll cry it out. After that, I'm free. 
nothing bad. Or sometimes, anyone I'm, I'm with friends, I talk to them about some things. And then sometimes they'll be like, why are you telling me this? <laughs> it's not your personal issue. What I'm talking about is that I just want to be free from my mind. I told someone something last week. I said, if a guy tell you something, even your boyfriend or your friend, it's not about them knowing you can solve it. Because a guy can meet you after I need 200K. Why is telling you it's not because of you can solve it. It's not because you want to talk it out. You know you don't have the solution. That's his way of, <laughs> of just releasing himself out. So him saying it's not about you giving a solution. That's why he said listening to hear, not to respond. Sure, sure. So most people just want you to just listen to them. I feel like men should also do that often too. Like share your body. Share your bodies. Just share it. Like please share it. Please. please. I'm begging you. Because <laughs> prevalence of easy. if we go, if we check the streets, prevalence of mad people, <laughs> men. It is what it is. Prevalence of men that um, prevalence of family that lose um lose their partner is men. Check school. Prevalence of guys, people that have extra year. Men. Men. So, so what's what's happening? Like it's just it just it saddens my heart when I just keep seeing these scenarios. And I remember I was having a question with someone about this topic, and the person was like, "Society is doing a lot. Like society is adding unnecessary pressure. Like just some things. And and sometimes, eh, you know, scrolling to social media and you see a twenty-two-year-old boy that has bought a Benz, and you yourself, you'll be like, ah, Jelly. I'm a man. I'm a man." Why am I not jamming my own And the funniest, thing, the funniest thing, other guys or other people will not be comparing you that it's not your classmate, it's not this. I always tell them that if you know what that guy do. So, see, another thing again, there's something about privilege. Two of us can go for the same interview. We are the same guys, the same looking. But we answer the same question. The person that is doing the interview, you cannot say, you can't even do permutation or combination and choose anyone. And now I can use, oh, I just like the way you smile. That's a little privilege. So you gotta give everyone privilege. It means things that you should understand where you are. So number one, they will say don't don't let their their time be your time. But another thing is that time you may be the one stopping yourself. If they don't give you this kind of comparison, sometimes you may not want to move further. You say, oh, I see your guy, you just buy Venza. <laughs> you can't remember say when this guy was introducing this business to me. I felt it was not, but he took the risk. Another thing is, man, one of the things why, why we don't share a lot of things is that we take a lot of risk. Now, yeah, once you, once and you hear women it. women don't like hearing it, sure. Once sure. you hear it. I, I understand that perspective. <laughs> I understand that perspective. When it comes to the good thing, and you feel like oh, if you tell your wife or mm. if you tell your partner, it will like burden them, but not them. to take that risk. It is good. Imagine like selling, sell, selling your car and <laughs> not telling your wife. But <laughs> Come to the business. that one is risky. Oh. If that's the only car that you people have, before you uh -huh. sell it, tell her, oh, please, so oh, don't follow this one that is saying, no, please tell her, oh, because some men will go and sell, if I know, why be thinking that they still have like one soft landing somewhere? Yeah, if the I know, man already sold this man, this, two years this, ago. This soft landing was gone. Imagine how they, uh, they save, they have a service together, and the guy has already used service to do investment as Let's like see. risk the money, and the woman is like, she'll be shaking. But I mean, if the money turns out to, you know, if the investment turns Good. out well, she will appreciate the husband. That's but it turns out bad. That's why it's good to have we'll someone. Can it's good to have someone you can confide in, no matter what. Sure, sure, sure. And sometimes I think one part I don't like, but some people say it's good. People always bring a lot of burdens to as a guy, every man. I saw a man like crying with someone and just a pastor. I was not looking for you to be able to take your body to this pastor. That means you, you trust him, you can be able to. But don't forget, as you are giving this pastor burden. Pastor yeah, to be thinking, yeah, increasing his own so burden. So yeah. who is going to take away the burden from him? Yeah. That's why they always say that um, psychologists must have their own psychologists. Sure, sure, sure. So sure. pastor should be able to have psychologists for their own. Sure, sure. Because the, you bring for me a matter today. I'm in a church setting, so I'm used to seeing a lot of pastors and this kind of thing. So you come to meet the pastor today. I have a issue. Another person will come again. Another issue. So this issue are getting much and much. So him himself, his own mental health is getting down. Because he, he can be praying, uh, saying, praise God, hallelujah. I just remember this guy, I've cried, oh Lord. He's bringing another body, <laughs> no. That one's going to come out. Remember the cry, not remember the cry, remember the cry of someone that came to him last two years. 
That's true. That's true. even not saying that um, this situation of people sharing body, increasing the body on that individual. Yeah. Now it's guys normally. Mm. Like your wife will come and women, you know, that ah. we like to talk, and definitely you share your body to your husband, share your body to your partner. And I keep sharing. Some mm. of your female friends that are still single will also like bring their Even bodies married, to you. Some of them will still share something. They will still like bring and to keep increasing the body level. So is it nice that it will be get like a guy should get a pen and just say, you know what, I'm not interested. I think the best thing to do is when you know some things are getting too much for you, you just try and look for a way to. They say, I always tell people, even if you are going to do something to someone, even if you are not going to be together as friends, take them gently as an egg and drop them. <laughs> I see, it's not easy. Someone that you have been close to, maybe someone that share your burdens to, person just disappear. You feel that gap. So imagine the person starts dropping you little by little. Oh, I'll listen to you. Instead of giving you one hour, I'll give you five minutes. At least, you still hear them out. And you also please go to the most important part. Next time, um, I'll give you six minutes. It should not be like a map up and down. So you just be like, oh, sorry, I'm not more available. I'm busy. The person will understand, oh, you have given me that, but if you have given them one, one hour consistently, I just go out. Uh, it sh that pain will be there. The gap will be there. But once you are giving them little by little attention, those friends, but the person you, you can all stop giving attention to is your wife. See, hear out anytime. <laughs> <laughs> Because if we reduce the attention, hmm, she will carry this outside. So please listen. I don't know who she's talking to. Um, mm, ah, keep um, saying it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please. Once uh, as she's talking, try and try and hear some important things. But now, um, I know that men, married men like gist. Ah, I don't know they like gist. So I've seen some of them. I've been seeing some videos on TikTok, and I'm like, <laughs> seriously, married men but like you, you, you see them outside, they don't be like. I see the days to talk. All those married people, what they are doing, they are gossiping. Don't let us, that's, that's, that's but that's, that's the way they will enjoy the house. Sure, because sure, the lady sure. likes to gossip, so you have to turn to her. I remember, I remember I saw a particular video. The lady was doing as if she was talking, she to, was her talking friend, to her friend. And she was not talking to anybody. And the husband was busy doing something in the kitchen. He came from the kitchen and was like, it was someone telling her, is it this person? It was, it's just like, ah, ah. Like, he left what he was doing in the kitchen, sat oh, down. Yeah. And I was like, I beg now, is it that just person? Me, just ah, me, just ah. that me. That means the wife has been giving him that vibe and he have gotten to his to it. God wants to be like, my husband like gossip. It's not only uh, me that like it. So I think this was an interesting conversation. But for me, as a man, see, my mental health is there. And see, if I call you and you don't pick, I'll call you tired until you pick and <laughs> hear me out. <laughs> I think I used to disturb people. If I find disturb you, I still disturb you. Mm, don't really disturb me. I don't disturb you, but why is it necessary I disturb you? And that's why people, all these, all these anonymous messages, people used to like. Yeah. When you read some, I say, hey, go and share this with the fiscal woman being. Social media people will just give you advice based on spontaneous this thing. But like now, nah, there's no story you are sharing. There will always be like a backstory to it that yeah. somebody that has understand the story from the beginning. Like, for example, I'm telling myself, my friends, some of my friends, some particular um, gist, they didn't know the backstory of me two years ago, three years, so they can like easily link it together. So what's your final word for guys out there? Like when it comes to addressing their mental health, what's your final word for them? Guys, I'm not saying you should be like me, but as a guy right now, what I do is I try to talk to people. Even if I can talk to you, anybody that I feel like can be able to listen to me. There was one that did something to me one day. I was, I think, depressed. I should know she helped me that day. I called her. I just talk to her every time, like once in a while. But I called her and she answered me, what is it? Her just answering to solve the issue for me. Just not about me talking to her. But I know I called another person. I called like two of them, but the person that solved the most issue, she felt up big that I took my mind down. But another guy left his house and came to come and hear wow. me. So that did that I know that you got to have valuable to have people. People. So guys, please be able to share your body to anyone and your wife is if you are married. Yeah, um, what may I will just leave you with to any guy, aside from the whole fiscal aspect of sharing your body, yeah. I would say please take out time to pray. Because mm -hmm. some men hand over the responsibility of prayer to their wife, they hand over the responsibility right. of prayer to their spiritual leader. They yeah, don't they, they don't <laughs> they don't take out time to pray. Because I know that is this yes, it's changing in it's changing these days where men now pray. I've I've yeah, seen yeah, 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 like yeah, compared yeah, to before where prayer. We see meetings filled with women, women, but now you also like you see equal balance of both the men and the women. So I just say, 
pray, share your burden with God. God is God will not gossip you matter to anybody. Yeah, and that's why I love him a lot. He does not gossip me matter. And he will definitely help you. <laughs> like, he will help you. They don't be like this calm or this ease. The problem, the problem is not lifted. The problem did not go away. But like, you just have like this calmness to like go through that struggle. Yeah, so and talk God to can, God can help you to solve the issue. So yeah. yeah. One thing about talking with God and sharing your body with that, He will give you peace. Peace is one of the most underrated things people don't know. If you have peace, no matter your situation, you will still be calm. And that's a memory for peace too. So what are you looking for? Yeah. A mother will give me peace if you should be deceiving ah, yourself. I'm looking for peace too. So it's woman that does not want to marry someone that will give her peace, Abby. Everybody yeah, wants peace, but the main thing is that peace. Are you a peacemaker? Are you a peacemaker? <laughs> it's not easy to get peace. So peace has a price. And that's why I'm tell you to be a man. <laughs> hmm. That's another yeah, that that conversation. That's another conversation. <laughs> okay, thank you guys for watching today's video. We are going to dig deep on this conversation in another video, but it will not be on Mills Mental Health, it will be on another conversation entirely. If you come your way in the next video, do well to like, subscribe, share, and follow, and make comments. Uh, yeah, please, and in case you need someone to talk to, enter a comment section. And in case you want me to or talk you can to go you, and search on social media. If you want me to talk to you, enter a comment section. Yeah. Yeah. Best, enter social media. <laughs> Go and search for Emmanuel. I see photography. But I'm sure you have, you have a personal page. I have a personal page. Emmanuel underscore I underscore O Labi. Simple, yeah. you find me there. So you can just like, that will be better. So it's more confidential. I feel like what I want to share is not for other people to see. You can always do well to do that. And my own mail is in the description box. You can reach out to me via email. I'll yeah, see you guys. <laughs> and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.